video of some people doing this awesome variation on the cat's eye isolation and asked for a tutorial on it. So this one goes out to Sally Cinnamon. Thank you so much for the challenge of figuring out this move and uh, breaking it down for you. So the prerequisite to doing this move is your basic cat's eye isolation. There's tons of tutorials out there on this. I'll post a link below in the comments section of one that I think is good. Now this variation might tease your brain at first, but it's really very simple if you break it down into smaller components. You have to really pay attention to which hand is gripping the hoop and which hand is ghosting the hoop and uh, your hand position. And follow along with me and you'll get it in no time. If you can pick up your hoop right now, that would be great. So the first step is going to be gripping your hoop in a steering wheel isolation type position. If you'll take your right hand and put it on the inside of the hoop like this, that might be helpful. You're going to be doing some grip changes in this isolation. So first we will start out just moving the hoop around in the steering wheel fashion. So you'll notice my hands are going to be moving to me, I'll say this is forwards and this is backwards, so my hands are going to be rotating backwards around the hoop, so in this direction. So step one, rotating the hoop in this way. Now you're going to start ghosting. Your bottom hand is going to be gripping the hoop. Your top hand is going to be ghosting the hoop. So you will push the hoop out in front of you while gripping with your bottom hand. So that's going to look like this. Here your hands meet up, so your ghosting hand is going to have to skip over your gripping hand. Start ghosting again below. Your top hand is now gripping and you're going to pull the hoop back in front of you to be back in this position. Now your gripping hand is going to have to roll to maintain that grip on the hoop. So now comes this is probably the third part of the isolation where we're going to do this arm cross in front. So my top hand is gripping, bottom hand ghosting. We'll do this move. Bottom hand is still gripping. Now I'm going to push the hoop out in front of me again. This time, instead of bringing the hoop back in front of me, I'm going to turn my body and bring it in front of me on the other side. Bottom this bottom hand is still gripping the hoop. Top hand skips over, bottom hand gripping the hoop, turning. Now I'm back in my steering wheel position on this side. I'm going to do a grip change here. This, this hand that's gripping the hoop is going to rotate to the inside like this as we do our steering wheel move again. Now we're ready to push the hoop out on the other side. Bottom hand gripping, top hand ghosting. Push out. This hand skips over, pull back in. It's rolling over the back of my hand that's doing the grip, gripping. And now we're going to, once again, top hand gripping, bottom hand ghosting. We're going to do this crossover move here. Bottom hand gripping, pushing back out to the front. Top hand skips over. Now we're back to our starting position. And uh, that's all there is to it. It kind of teases your brain in the beginning, but it's really very simple after you do it a couple times. So now I'm going to uh, do this in slow motion a few times, pick up your hoop and follow along, and you'll have it in no time. Here we go. The fruit man.
against my body and uh, going around in this way and that uh, helps to keep your isolations neater when your arms are like coming out from your body like this it gives it lots of chance to be wobbly and then it also kind of takes away that visual of uh, having the straight arms tucked in close to your body kind of makes for which I don't know what this looks like at the moment in the camera but it just makes for a prettier uh, visual isolation. So anyways, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you get this move and have tons of fun with it. If you have any questions, please ask me. And uh, also if you have any requests for tutorials, I love making tutorials. I'm just not always sure what's needed out there. There's so many tutorials out there. But uh, if you have something that you're having trouble with, please uh, send me a message and I'd love to break it down for you. So thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out my channel. Tons of hooping stuff on there. And uh, y'all have a great day and happy hooping. Bye.